guys, it's Monday, January 15th, and it is supposed to be the most depressing day of the year. Woo! Uh, uh. I was reading a few articles about it yesterday, because I, I didn't get it at first. It's cold. I get that. I hate that. I haven't seen the sun in a bit. I get that. I don't like that. But they were talking about the financial burdens of Christmas kicking in, and how about people who want to go out and hang out with their friends but are financially strapped can't and so they feel more lonely uh, th so then I started to get it when you get one or two things it's kind of like uh, you can brave through it you can put on your big girl panties you'll be all right but you start heaping things on to people and that's that's when it really starts to affect everyone so today reach out to somebody offer to go over somebody's house do something that's free because, you know, people might not want to admit that they're financially strapped. Bring someone a meal. Go eat with somebody. Have tea with somebody. Um, meet somebody and just walk around the mall. You don't have to buy anything. <coughs> but uh, today is, is supposed to be the most depressing day of the year. So there's that. Happy Monday. But because I am your fortuitous uh, year of choice... I have decided I am giving everybody demigod powers. Now why demi and not full on? Well obviously because we're human and because demigods are really so much more interesting. They are assigned much more human characteristics. They are not all powerful and so they're much more easy to relate to. Also they all have their personalities. So I don't want you to pick a demigod. I want you to be your demigod, all right? So figure out what powers you would have. <coughs> um, I'm a mom, so maybe my superpowers are patience and multitasking. And I can grant people um, favors of those things, focus, encouragement, you know, mom, I, you know. And uh, we all have to have that flip side. So the dark side of all that is maybe that people put so much effort into something that they love and they forget to take care of themselves. So, uh, you know, I'm just from, uh, <laughs> not from personal experience, but you're a demigod. Pick your powers. It does. It can be whatever you want. And then go through your week and figure out who you would favor, what you would grant them that's within your power and how you would deal with the challenges you come across as a demigod and not as a human. So this is meant to be fun, but there's some choice involved. If you were given magical demigod powers, what would you be? Would you be Maui? Would you be a savior of humans? Would you be Loki? Would you be a trickster? Would you be the goddess of love, the goddess of war, both? Yeah. I know some people who are dating and it's not going well. So yeah, yeah, there's that. Um, so what what do you want? What do you want to embody? What is something that you want to embody but you don't feel like you do? Maybe take that on for a day or two. Try it out. Maybe if you want to be more sensual, be more sensual. Maybe if you want to be braver, be braver. <laughs> and figure out who you would favor in your day. So maybe you went and you got coffee and the local barista was a little down. So if you were me, you would favor her with uh, some encouragement and some cheerleading and a big tip. Well, you're human, so you could totally leave a big tip. And you can encourage in a small way. You can compliment, you know. So there are plenty of things that are within our power, even though we're not demigods. And that is, my fine friends, the lesson for the week is that we have more power than we think that we do. We are capable of far more than we ever even think we are. You know, there are moms that lift up cars to save babies. You know, there's a whole lot in our power that we simply need to unlock. And so, this week, figure out what, what kind of... Have fun with this. Have fun with this. This isn't a serious science experiment. Have fun, okay? If you are feeling depressed, please call someone. Um, you can call National Suicide Hotline. You can call a friend, call a family member, and just talk out whatever it is. You know, um, jump online if you're financially strapped. Join a budget group. There are a ton on Facebook, and most of the ones that I've peeked at are really good and really supportive. 
Some of them choose certain techniques to go with. I see a lot of Dave Ramsey snowball uh, pay down of debt. <laughs> but some of them just, you know, are working hard to do what they can to pay off medical debt. It's a tremendous amount that I see. Credit card debt is another one that's a big one. Um, so I want to encourage you guys, if you're, if you're feeling the stress, uh, do something. Because that's what makes us the most powerful is when we take action, okay? Praying, praying is great. Spell casting, spell casting is great. Taking action towards a goal is the best thing that you could possibly do. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you on the flip side. Bye.